What we're interested in with the new parish is to follow Jesus Christ into our uh, neighborhoods and to allow the incarnation of God in Jesus to form our imaginations for what that looks like. How we define the parish is a place that's small enough to be known, but big enough to live a lot of life in. In a lot of cities, a parish is a, is a neighborhood. In a, in a suburban area, it might be the, the suburb, or in a rural area, it might be, say, 60 square miles with a, a center. There's no hard and fast rules. Again, we would ask you to consider, could I be known, and is this big enough to live a lot of life in? You might even want to look at a map and kind of think about where might be the center of, of my neighborhood, where are the edges, and from there kind of take a dotted line and try and imagine, ideally with some friends who are following Jesus, where is our parish? We've been to some 300 different neighborhoods where we have walked the streets together with groups of people, ate in their homes, uh, been with the people, uh, sat together in their gatherings. We started to realize that there were groups of people living out a gospel way and feeling alone, feeling like they were on their own. And we have watched the eyes light up and the spark of hope uh, begin to, to uh, be, become visible as, as they have realized that the work that they're doing, that they thought they were doing by themselves, is a work that's happening all over the country, all over North America, perhaps all over the world. The big question for us is, um, how do we be faithfully present the way Christ was faithfully present to any number of kinds of relationships? How are we faithfully present to God, to one another, to creation, to ourselves? When Christ was asked, what, are the, what is the greatest command? He gave, he, he, what he invited and what he, what he articulated was faithful presence. He said, love God. Um, that's, this is the first and greatest command, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. This is what faithful presence is. And what we are trying to do in the new parish is actually operationalize the love of God as, and as love of neighbor. We have to see the local church as a body of living relations in the neighborhood. We have to see it beyond just a gathering at a church. We have to see that the church is literally all the people in the neighborhood who have those redemptive habits and patterns and that we need to reach out, latch arms, connect to one another, be that church in a particular place. What we're asking folks to do is consider what God is doing in that place and so how are we together with others joining in God's common mission for that place. But just as we do, we have to remind that we're not human doings, we're human beings and we're called to be formed into the image of Christ and so there's a common formation that has to happen as well. And of course, individuals can't follow Jesus on their own. We are created in the image of the Trinity we believe in, and that means that everything is functionally a re relational reality. And so the common mission and common formation would have to find their way within a common relationship. But if it's all within the realm of imagining God's dream for that place, we could do that. And we're already here. So let's just get started.